Hey, what's going on everybody? Jerry with 3DHP. Tig Tac Belt Printer Part 3 is here. So let's check it out right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while since I've worked on my Tig Tag belt printer. I've been tied up with other projects, but uh, I've got it 100% completely assembled. I've got firmware on it. I wound up going with a TH3D Easy Light board from TH3D Studios. Tig Tag had sent me some firmware that I put on it, and I went in, edited the board, and picked the TH3D board. I still have some bugs to work out of it. It's not printing yet, but I do have the firmware on. I just got to work out some of the settings, adjust the belt and such to get everything working quite right. But it is 100% built. And we can kind of do a walk around. As far as for a wiper on the front, there was no file for me to print. So I got a old piece of a license plate here and I cut it out. And I'm going to mount that on the front. And that will be a wiper as parts come off of it. I have to do a little more tweaking on it and then paint it, but that'll work for that. And drawer assembly is installed. Um, I could have used the original Ender 3 frame for the screen. I wound up printing out the part they supplied. And I put that on it. But we can kind of do a walk around here and get a look at it. I've got an end stop mount here on the side. Um, uh, my friend uh, Liam, Astro Printer, sent me a couple little mounts. I didn't really care for the way those were set up, so I have some different ones here. There's an end stop here on the X axis. And I got this one here for the Y, infinite Z for the belt. So when you go to home it, you just home X and a Y, you do not home Z. On the hot end, I've got this blower fan here, this piece that you print out from them, it slips over the hot end. There is not a parts fan. There's no place to mount a parts fan, so I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do on that. But kind of show you how I got it going here. And a bunch of my wires, I printed out these clips off of Thingiverse to kind of hold my wires. And I've drilled through the side of the case to run a lot of the wires in. It's currently turned on. You can probably hear it running. But, you know, that's a nice looking little printer. Ton of work putting it together. I had to go out and buy a ton of additional bolts that they didn't supply with the kit they sent me. But, yeah, it's there. It's put together. It's like a little army tank. I mean, it's, you know, very, very well built. We just have to get it up and printing. So then I can show you some cool stuff with it. So, but like I say, it is all put together. Uh, Astro Printer redesigned a mount here, which I used from him. And I took the stock one they supplied, and I got that for my extruder. Got that put on. And let's see, looking at the bottom of it. They had a couple different uh, files that it came out where they had redesigned the control box and where the power supply goes. Currently, you can see the power supply is open. I took this cover, I cut it down. I'll put that on just to cover up the wires so you never accidentally reach under there and touch anything you shouldn't. I got a fan mounted in the bottom there for the control board. Doesn't appear to be running at the moment. I'll check that out. But yeah, it's all put together. It's looking like a belt printer. It's got to work out some of the bugs on it. And uh, they're hot end. I used... Uh, their hot end block they had sent me wasn't tapped where you put the thermistor screw in. So I bought a little tap off Amazon 3 millimeter and tried to tap it. It didn't work out. So I took the one off Ender 3 for the block. And I used Ender 3 block. And I used their heat sink and stuff and put it all together. And it's probably about an inch longer than MK8. The uh, uh, Ender 3 MK8. I don't have one here in front of me. But this one here, once it's all put together, it's about an inch longer. So... But, it's, you know, it looks like a printer. It's looking good. Like I say, you just got to do some firmware tweaks on it, get everything figured out to get it working right. But uh, I was going to show you more time-lapse footage from the second video to the third. There's no, there's really no use to do that. It's just, you know, me going super, super fast, mounting the tray in it and putting a few things on it. But, you know, you can kind of get a basic understanding here of how the printer looks and, you know, the way I've mounted a few things on it. 
like where I mounted the extruder and where I decided to put it. Like I say, I need to get something figured out for a cooling fan for the hot end. And then cooling fan for the hot end, and then work out some firmware bugs to get it the different axes moving properly without anything skipping or the motors grinding. I have to get the V-reps on them set right. But yeah, it's a pretty cool looking little printer. And this is my Tig Tag belt printer. Thank you for watching everybody. Please like, subscribe, share this out. I really appreciate it. Yes, there will be a part four. Get all the little bugs worked out of it. Start getting some amazing prints coming off this. Hey, there might even be a part five. So I'd appreciate if you share this. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below or, you know, whatever social media I post this on. I'll throw us some, a TikTok. It'll be on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, I'll wind up having it on my Twitch channel. You can follow me over on Twitch at Jerry3DHP. And, uh, you know, happy printing, everybody. You have an awesome day. Later.